Welcome to this Godot Engine course, where we are going to build an inventory screen and a dynamic inventory system from scratch. This course gives you all the knowledge and the power to build responsive user interfaces with Godot. But not only that, you will also learn how to make dynamic systems that use dynamic data using your own data model and scriptable objects. You are also going to learn how to create your own extendable and expandable Godot's game objects and components with custom nodes, scenes and scripts. You are going to learn how to create custom Godot's resources and how to mix and match dynamic and static data. In this course, you are going to learn Godot nodes and scenes fundamentals, understand what are Godot's game objects and components in that, Godot control nodes in UI fundamentals include margins, anchors, layouts, responsive layouts, aspect ratios, and more, how to understand Godot's container nodes, automatic UI placement, and size flags, how to create big user interface screens with Godot that are also responsive for different screen sizes and aspect ratios, how to create your own custom UI widgets, expand and inherit them, creating custom control nodes and scenes, how to create an infinite scrolling container of items and how to animate it dynamically, how to have multiple pages of items under the same category, how to structure the data model of an inventory and equipment system separating items by category and creating groups of categories, for example, listing 100 weapons and 200 weapons under a weapons group while keeping the 100 and 200 classifications, how to create a user interface that uses both dynamic and static data, how to create equipable item slots that accept configurable categories of items and show the items equipped in these slots, how to display item and equipment attributes, how to create and expand custom scriptable objects, which are custom Godot's resources, with different attributes for items and equipments. You are going to learn Godot's scripting language, GDScript, including the observer pattern with GDScript signals in details, with a sample traffic light project, how to write custom GDScript signals, connect to them and emit them, how to handle and synchronize 100 and 200 items while automatically unequipping items if both hands are equipped, how to create pickable items dynamically adding them to the inventory and listing them in the inventory screen in the correct category and much more. This course is divided in four main sections, Godot Fundamentals, creating a user interface with Godot Editor, planning the inventory system data model, and programming everything with GDScript. In the programming section, I explain the reasoning behind each line of code, so expect lots of drawings. This course is recommended for all levels, the only requirement is to know a bit of programming logic, but you don't need to know Godot to follow along with this course. My name is Alfred Reynolds Baldish, I have more than 25 years of experience as a software developer, I am the creator of the popular Godot's open source project Godello, where I created a complex business software interface with Godot, and I love creating tools and interfaces with Godot. I am your instructor in this course. Let's get started!